Uh, this video is about mutator, accessor, and private helper. So let's uh, first see in through this program mutator and accessor. So mutator and accessor are nothing but the functions or the methods uh, in which both of these mutator, mutator and accessor words have different set of meanings. So let's first uh, look into mutator. So mutator is a method which can update or modify um, the class members. That may be a variable. And accessor is a function um, which can never change or modify the class fields or the class members values. Um, often the mutator which is not a uh, which can modify the class fields is also called as the setter method and um, accessor which is a uh, which is not able to modify is called the getter method so always in the java programming if we are dealing with multiple classes um, and if we are having some private members in one class which needs to be accessed in another class then in that case the pri uh, the getter and setter that are the use in mutator and accessor methods are uh, basically helpful for that so let's try to understand this um, here in the class restaurant, um, class restaurant and my restaurant, both of them are combined. In the my restaurant method, we have the main method, and in it, we are creating one mindplace object for the restaurant class. So, this mindplace object is able to access all the, all the, it should access all the member variables and the member functions inside the restaurant class. And this mindplace is able to call the member functions inside the restaurant class through these two statements we are trying to achieve something and then these two statements are for printing let's first see in the restaurant class uh, two member class members we are having that are name and rating and both of them are private so as we already know any private member inside the class their scope is only limited to this area inside this class only not outside any of it so here my place object which is created for the restaurant class in there it is not able to access the private members name and rating so what are we supposed to do then how can we access all the private members outside the class then so in that case the mutator and the um, accessor methods plays a vital role uh, first the mutator method can modify something so here we are having a set name method through it we are assigning some name to the um, variable private variable name and then use a, a set rating we are setting the rating value and the get name is returning the name and get rating is returning the rating um okay let's see this so when it calls the set name method to the object my place so in the set name method indirectly we are able to access the um, name variable which is being declared as private so that is a uh, that is an advantage through the mutator method now we can change we are able to change the value of the variable uh, through the mutator or the setter method it can set a name or set um, the user rating so that is why they are called setter method so through the set name and set rating the values have been updated and assigned to the private member variables now we are able to print it print the values of name and rating through the get methods the getter methods that are the get name and get rating which are also called the accessor methods so through this two methods if i will try to run the program it displays through get name maria's has been accessed um, Maria's dinner is rated and rating is five year that is being displayed. Let's move on to the private helper. So private helper is something if we are having uh, one private member variable num a as nine, so we shouldn't be able to access it outside this class private helper that is inside this test class. Um, let me just first close this. Mm, and here we do have another one method method x 
which is returning integer type as well as this is being declared as private so am i able to access this inside test class no it is not possible so what is the other way to access this if i can declare another one method define another one method method one which is public and inside this i will call the method x which will increment the num value by one and return the value and then i can print it through this method and in the test class i only have to create one object for the private helper class and that class will only access the method one and i can print the value of num a which is uh, a private member variable so let's do one thing let's say through the object i will try to access the method x so is the method x private or public it's private so i shouldn't be able to access this outside private helper class so that is why it's showing the error the method x from the type private helper is not visible because this is a private method okay. these are all about mutator accessor and private helper methods